Right at five, we have new details on a very unusual homicide case coming out of Hamburg today. Channel 2's Ron Plants was in court this afternoon for the arraignments of six young suspects in this case. Ron, this one seems pretty disturbing. Indeed, Scott and Mary Ellis, that is six suspects ages 26 to 18 who stand accused in the fatal stabbing which police say took the life of 25 year old Brendan Benoit of the town of Boston. Now, Hamburg police say it happened just before midnight going into Sunday in a wooded area just off Heltz Road, which is in the vicinity of 18 Mile Creek in Lakeview in that area, regarded to be a favorite spot for young people in the town. So today, all six in the courtroom, three men, three women, the oldest 26 year old Gerald Adamski seen in a white gown charged with manslaughter for allegedly using a knife to stab Benoit in a vehicle parked at the scene. The others all charged with assault, including two of the women who were accused used of, as the prosecutor put it, luring Benoit into the woods where the attack occurred. The alleged conspiracy here was just to uh, rough up and beat up the victim, and that was it. And so the fact that uh, the individual ended up allegedly being stabbed uh, by Mr. Uh, Adamski in the back of the car I think it's probably safe to say uh, allegedly uh, surprised uh, a number, if not all, of the other participants uh, in this crime. Now, the suspects identified again as 26-year-old Jared Adamski, charged with first-degree manslaughter with a potential year or more in prison, then all charged with second-degree assault, technically as accomplices, 20-year-old Harrison Drozen, 22-year-old Connor Crone, and 19 year old Kaylee Shivik Shu, 18 year old Larissa Smith, and 20 year old Alexis Dean. Adamski was not granted bail, but it was put at $100,000, $200,000 bond for all the rest. Now they're going to face a preliminary hearing on Friday, and DA Flynn emphasizes there could be additional charges or the existing charges could be upgraded or downgraded as the investigation continues on this case. By the way, another strange twist in this case, the prosecutor in court says a police dispatcher heard the defendants talking amongst themselves and bringing up the idea of taking revenge against a witness who had come forward to police. Orders of protection for all from the judge depending on their bail custody status. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.